might as well be one because when I ran into him, I was introduced to him in Los Angeles, I think, in a recording studio. Uh, and if you want to know about pressure, I said, we're going to introduce you to the winner of The Voice. Tell him what it is that you want him to do. You sit down with a talent like this and his mother. <laughs> and you have like three minutes to basically explain the concept of a book the concept of a song for a book about a guy who didn't exist, but a song that maybe did exist, but it would sound like it existed, and, and you're just looking back and pushing, are they getting it, are they going to do it? And I finished, and, and Sawyer said, cool, yeah, okay. <laughs> and uh, you've written a, a beautiful song, which is a love theme uh, for the two characters in the book, Frankie and Aurora, his wife, which you're going to do in a second. But I know, uh, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you, as everybody watched that video, and I'm sure a lot of people are curious, you're on a show that the whole country is watching. You're standing there in that moment, arm in arm, with a, a blonde woman whose hair is shorter than yours. <laughs> <laughs> when they're about to say the syllables, you know, is there a voice from you going, Sawyer, Sawyer, Sawyer? <laughs> Uh, I don't really think so. I was really just kind of caught up in the moment. It wasn't really like going over in my head too much. But yeah, it was, it was great. I mean, it was also a little confusing just because like, after they had people coming out and they had me like singing my song while my parents were like hugging me. So. Right. But yeah, it was great. And is, is there anything about that experience that, that people should know that maybe they, they assume one way or another you find most people get wrong about being on one of those programs? Um, I mean, it, it was just such a great experience, and I think a lot of people don't like realize like when they're watching the shows, these are real artists, and they're not just a voice. They are like they, with my season had so many songwriters, and like hearing them was amazing, and they have such great talent that doesn't always come through with the TV. Yeah. Well, you are a songwriter. Yes, uh, I Phenomenal songwriter. I've Thank heard you. some of Sawyer's <laughs> songs, and those of you who have gotten these albums before know them. Can you explain your are you still 17? I'm um, 16. 16. Oh, <laughs> get off the stage. 16. Where do you get this maturity in your songwriting and in your, your singing? I mean, there's nothing wrong with being 16. It's just you haven't been around that long to absorb oh, yeah. it. I guess it's just imagination. Uh, <laughs> does it come from your mom? Are you in a musical family? Um, you know? Well, actually, a lot of my family is musical, but not from my direct family. It's like all my cousins. All of them like playing guitar, so yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of inspiration. And did they encourage you to take part in this program? Uh, did anybody try to talk you out of it? For the voice? Yeah. For the voice, I was actually not sure about it because I, I wasn't, I've never been in like a competition thing before. And I wasn't sure about like being on TV, so it was kind of just, I thought of it as a learning experience in that way, so that's why I went with it. And what I liked the most, and the thing when I first met Sawyer that impressed me the most was after winning this huge TV show on the national stage, you basically, after collecting your stuff, you went back to the family farm yeah. in New York, right? Yeah. You just like went back to your chores on the farm. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> what are some of those chores? Um, well, it changes during the seasons, but like during the winter, there's a lot of work when the cows are in the barn, but during the summer, there's a lot of pain, they're out on pasture and all So mm -hmm. are you doing like Elvis in those movies, like you're singing while you're doing the hay and the cattle? No. <laughs> well, it has obviously kept you very grounded. Yes. You're a terrific young man. His mom is just as delightful. Uh, Kirsten, who's here, either in the stands or, or there. And they were nice enough to come. You came from California? Yes, I did. Because you're about to do another episode of The Voice, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Beyond the, my EP. Okay. the EP. Those of you who are under <laughs> a certain age, I think that's a, an album of some kind. <laughs> Small. Small. Extended play. <laughs> but this song that you're about to do, uh, Frank and Aurora's love theme called Forever Wrong mm -hmm. is actually on the CD of, of, of the book. So it's a song that could have existed but didn't exist about a couple that might have existed but didn't But it has the passion of uh, the love affair between Frankie and Aurora. I can't thank you enough for, uh, for being a part of this and I went all the way to Detroit to help our fellow Detroiters here. You are now an honorary Detroiter. <laughs>